All right. Wow, wow, wow. Conviction. Um, I'm glad that you could uh, join in and that you have downloaded this video and that you can watch this uh, as we have our weekly devotion. And we've been talking about conviction. And you know, conviction basically um, is a firm belief that you have in a truth. Maybe something you've been taught or something that you know and you hold it to be true, you know. Um, and uh, when I was thinking about this thing, conviction, I came across a story of a couple called Aaron and Melissa Klein. Um, they are a couple from the US, uh, Portland. And these guys uh, run a bakery shop called um, Sweet Bakers. And someone approached them to do a cake for them, but it so happened that this couple was gay. They were lab lesbian, you know, a lady marrying another lady. And Aaron and Melissa decided because of their belief, because of their conviction in the faith, their Christian belief, they decided not to bake the cake for them, you know, um, and it led them into all sorts of trouble, you know, because they, uh, they apparently contravened the law of uh, anti-discriminatory law, and they were sued and fined $135,000. That's like 14 million big ones, you know, and it's, it was crazy. It actually ran them out of business, uh, just paying the fine. But you know what? They still decided to stand firm and hold on to their convictions in spite uh, of the cost. And it's not unique in the Bible. Daniel chapter 3, there, was, uh, there were three people, three guys, young people like you and I, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who as well came to a point where their conviction was tested. Um, Nebuchadnezzar makes a big golden statue and decides that everyone in my kingdom, once you hear the horn, you have to bow. Um, to this statue. And these three guys decided we are not bowing, we are not boarding, it's not happening, um, never ever, you know. And they stood firm to their conviction that, you know what, the only person that I'm going to worship is God Almighty. And this landed them in the fiery furnace. And I like what Daniel quotes. He says that even if God does not show up, even if he doesn't save us, we will not bow to you, O King defining moment in their lives and my friend you and i as well have those are going to have those defining moments in our lives where things will come and try to make us to bow to them but this is where conviction must kick in this is where you and i must choose to stand firm to our faith and say no i'm not gonna bow today my friend even you and I are going to have these defining moments in our lives where our conviction is going to be tested, where we're going to be um, put in a position where it's going to be a hard decision. But my friend, we need to stand firm to the belief that we have. We need to hold firm to the belief system um, that we have been taught, you know. Um, it may be the in thing to do. It may be the cool thing to do. But my question to you today is think about it. Is it the right thing to do? And you know it because you've been taught since you were young the right principles, the right values to uphold. Is it the right thing to do? You'll have a lot of invitations during this holiday season to go to all sorts of birthday parties and hangouts. My question to you today is, is it the right place to go? You know, you'll have a lot of influence from your friends who are coming from all over the country um, telling you, let's do this, let's do that. My question to you today is, will you hold firm to your conviction even if it makes you look um, like the outcast? It will make you look not so cool. You know, people will think, ah, oh, this guy never does what everyone else does. But my question to you today is, will you hold firm to the conviction that you have? Second Timothy tells us that follow the pattern of the sound words that you have heard from me. It can be me um, teaching you every Sunday. It can be your parents. It can be your teachers. Follow the sound pattern, the pattern of the sound words that you have heard. And it goes on to say uh, that guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. I challenge you, I beseech you by the mercies of God. Hold firm to the convictions um, that are right, that you have been taught, that you know what to do. Stand firm to, uh, for what you believe in. Do not be ashamed. We need people who are going to model Christ to our generation. And that person is you. Yes, you. 
you can actually change uh, you can actually change uh, the world just by holding firm to what you believe in i challenge you be a person of conviction amen